Imagine a family sitting down every Thursday night to watch their favorite TV show. They watch their episode and are left hanging on the ending and have to wait a whole week to see what happens next. Today, that same family can watch a whole TV series in one day, thanks to Netflix. Hi, I'm Alec Kadukovic and I'm doing a presentation for BA 462 Corporate Strategy. I will be discussing the, Netflix, the history of Netflix, Netflix core competencies, their competition, and how they add value to their customers. Here's a little bit on Netflix history. It was founded in 1997 as a conventional retail service with online offerings. In 1999, the firm grew rapidly due to elimination of due dates and late fees. In 2010, Netflix had 15 million subscribers and shipped over 2 million DVDs per day. It was the world's largest subscription service, streaming movies and TV episodes over the internet while still shipping DVDs to homes. Some of Netflix's core competencies, as I mentioned in the book, as are mentioned in the book, customer service, information technology, vendor relations, and accessibility. These are just some of Netflix's core competencies. Customer service is important in just about every industry, and Netflix has done a great job with matching and exceeding the industry standard. Information technology is a tool that Netflix uses to give them the competitive edge and keep them keep their viewer glued to the screen. My personal favorite is how the next episode of your TV show automatically starts playing after you finish one, and it seems impossible to take your eyes away. Vendor relations is for Netflix is what keeps them competing with other movie rental platforms. Refe receiving movies 90 days after they are released can give them a huge edge. Accessibility is something that I found in their website to be one of their main focuses. They have made it possible for viewers to access Netflix on basically any electronic device. They have TVs that built in Netflix, Xbox, Wii, and PlayStation are just a, set, just a couple examples of this. All of these core competencies are relatively easy to duplicate, in my opinion, which is why Netflix is such an interesting company success story. I believe that with great customer service, paired with usability and accessibility, they have created a brand that demands loyalty from their customers. Let's talk about their competition. Competition is something that is one of Netflix's biggest risks. Apple, Google, and Amazon are just a few platforms that are competing for the online video streaming market share. One of the, net, one of the way that Netflix is trying to gain the competitive advantage over their competition, competitors is creating their own TV series and movies that are exclusively provided on their website. Another way goes back to vendor relations and making sure that they are getting the rights to movies and TV shows on their website first. I believe that in order to solidify themselves from their competition, they are going to have to continue to expand their movies and TV shows that they are producing. What happens when Paramount, Lionsgate, or Pixar wants to make their own streaming website? Or pair with Apple, Google, or Amazon instead? I believe the safest way to stay competitive is expand the Netflix original production. Let's talk about Netflix and how they provide value to their customers. Netflix, provi Netflix provides value to their customers by giving them a consistent product with up-to-date material. Also, an easy-to-use website that seems to know exactly what you want to watch next. Netflix is going to be a very interesting company to watch in the next few years. The market is going to get flooded with other websites trying to do the same thing as Netflix. The question is, what is Netflix going to do when this happens, and how are they going to set themselves apart from the competition?